Previously on Dance Academy. But I want you to both be prepared for the fact that I may be switching the roles. You should stay with us over the break. You and I can hang out. Just think about it. I'm in. Christmas Day. Are your family seafood people or turkey? What? You know, I'd love to come down to the farm with you. You're gonna have to go on because I'm not. You're better at this than me. I think I like you. I know I like you. He's withdrawing his financial support. If I have to get six jobs, I'm staying at the academy. You didn't make it in the second year. And finally, I'm flying. There's this dream I've been having, where I'm a competitor. As soon as I start dancing, I know it's one of those rare performances where everything works perfectly. There's not an arabesque I can't control. For the first time, foites don't scare me. But then a knot grows in my stomach. This sense that I could keep turning forever, or just as easily fall. And when I wake up, I can't figure out if it's a dream or a premonition. Couldn't sleep either? He got me up. You are such a pushover. I know. Come on. could have disappeared and we're the only ones left. All right, Webster. You realize at some point this year we're gonna wanna kill each other. Let's make a deal. Nothing's getting in between us. Deal. Classes don't officially start until next month, mate, but they called us back early and there's this rumour going around that they're going to announce the Prix de Fontaine's. So. Hmm? The Olympics of dance. They're on every four years. Where have you been? Uh, the real world. Oh, oh, ah. Do you remember in the interview when you promised coordination? I'm a dancer, not a dish pig. <sighs> Make me proud. My actions are mine and mine alone. I am a nice person. I am a kind person. I am worthy. I am lovable. I am free. <laughs> yes. Well, come and collect 
your graduation plans. Make sure you nurture them like you will your own happiness. For the record, playing your own music is egotistical, not ironic. Darling, look at you. Tash, hi. Um, got a dash. But you just got back. Yep. Yeah, but he's Miles Kelly, Cat. But who gets sick of those dulcet tones? Even you, Samuel, the 14th time he complains about no one taking him seriously. Even you. Sammy, I made you some biscuits to settle your time. Thanks. You've been well occupied then. Well, Kat, I'm the boarding house advisor, so it's my duty to welcome the first year students. Is that what you call it? Hey! Oh! <laughs> hey, man. Hello. Hey. So, how long exactly did the just friends rule last? Ah, uh, yeah, who came first? She he did. did. She did. Second year. Wow. Did anyone ever think we'd make it this far? Sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, it's fine. My new holding cell's just around the corner. It'll be like old times. Good. All right, we better go. All right. OK. Well, see ya. Have fun at school. So your dad's still holding out on paying your tuition then? Yeah, it's all about clever use of holiday savings. You don't know anything about the stock market, do you? Sammy. Check it out. You're going to be the poster girl of second year. Well, somehow I don't see Abigail letting that happen. Tara! Oh! Um, I put us down for our old room. I hope that's not overstepping. Christian! Sammy, wow. Today we grow in strength with every forward step we take together. Oh, this is Phil. I'll see you guys in there. Mr. Lieberman, I believe the vernacular is get a room. See ya. You've all heard the rumours, so I'm going to get through this quickly. For the first time in 30 years, the world's most prestigious ballet competition, the Prix de Fontaine, will be held in Sydney. Preliminaries are at the end of the semester, followed by the Nationals, where it will be decided who goes on to represent Australia. The Academy and the company have been asked to be part of the launch tomorrow. Sebastian is choreographing. The least I can do for the new principal of the Academy. And the international judges will be in the audience. I cannot stress enough that we will be representing the entire dance community. This is your chance to make a lasting impression. Mate, all of them? You're gonna get yourself in trouble. It's pheromones, Christian. Raw masculine pheromones. Tara, I want you to do the solo. I told you. Thank you so much. I won't let you down. Ethan will take you through it. Christian, over here, please. Hi. How are you? Never better. Um, meet back here at two? Sure, that should give me enough time to have some lunch and unpack my stuff and... You're really not interested in my schedule. See you then. Some of this stuff is actually edible. I thought we'd have a family dinner. Oh, no can do. I've organised a beach catch-up, but don't worry, these little guys will not go to waste. You can't just waltz in and out of here whenever you like. This is not a hotel. <laughs> Where'd you get that one? Mummies for dummies. I don't understand what it is you want from me, Katrina. I gave you a lot of freedom this summer. I didn't say anything when you threw away your place at the Academy. <sighs> don't worry, the disappointment rang loud and clear. Mum, we both know the only part of me you've ever been interested in is dancing. That is unfair. Is it? Then why are you sending me back to yet another boarding school? You can't wait to get away. Same sides then? Oh, unless you'd prefer the other. It's close to the stairs, so there is the noise factor. But it does catch a morning light. Good, you're both here. This is my goddaughter, Grace. She's visiting from London. I'd like one of you to show her around. 
I told her I was old enough to make my own playdates, but Lucy keeps me on a short leash. <laughs> I've been trying to convince Grace to get back into ballet. Perhaps you'll have more luck. <laughs> New people. I've been under house arrest for the last month. What did you do? My dad's getting remarried and I upset the stepmothers. And I grew up here, so. Well, I'm Abigail. Hi. This is Tara. She's the most naturally talented dancer in Nangia. Okay, what are you up to? Mum's moved back to Brisbane to be with Dad. They're trying to sort things out. That's great. I'm really happy for you. And it made me re-examine how important relationships are. I put undue pressure on myself last year by alienating those around me. So you've decided to be nice. Today, I don't have to be perfect. I just have to be me. If I get a choice of chaperone, do you mind if I pick you? So just let me finish unpacking and I'll come and find you later. Okay? Miss you so many, Sam. Back at you. Upsy daisy. So that's what you're gonna be doing this year. Yeah, well I don't wanna be tied down to just one girl. I mean, I'm in my prime. And it doesn't have anything to do with the other stuff. Do you know what's more common than not for adolescents to question their sexuality? It was a blip, just forget it ever happened. Hey, listen, no offense to your tour guide abilities, but if I don't do something vaguely fun, my brain is going to melt. Can you do me a huge favor and cover for me? How do you mean? Like, if Miss Rain asks where I am, just make up an excuse. Like what? I am the world's worst liar. Hi, I'm Ethan, assistant choreographer. Hi, I'm leaving. You complete faith. Developing such a major girl crush. Are you ready to get started? Do you maybe want to talk about anything first? You know, since we're going to be working together and all... I don't maybe... think that there's much to talk about, Tara. You said that you were going to stay with me over the break and then you got a better offer. But, but that wasn't what happened. You chose Christian. Again. And I was left looking like an idiot. Again. So that sucked for about five minutes and then I moved on. So one more time. You ready to get started? Great. Pose and arabesque. My new uniform. I'm seriously thinking about shaving my head in protest. Don't. It suits you long. Okay, is it me or does anyone else think it's gonna be? Strange you? Yeah. Look at this. <gasps> Turn out, Tara, that's looking sloppy. Did you do any classes over the holidays? Well, there weren't many available on the farm. You're out of shape. What? Let's just go into the foyer day tent, shall we? You totally just said that I looked fat. No, I didn't. Don't be so sensitive. Foyer day turns. You need to be consistent, Tara. <sighs> Get on your leg, you're wandering. Do it again. You know that foyer turns break me out. Maybe we could make them attitude turns or something? Yeah? How about I decide that, since I'm the one who's coaching you? No, you're not. You're punishing me. And you know what? I know the choreography now, so I'm just going to go rehearse on my own. I mean, yes, he was sort of my mentor, but I'm not you and Clueless anymore. I danced Clara. OK, it's day one, and we're already talking about Ethan. You think I was wrong to walk out of rehearsal? I think this year you're starting out on top, which means any knock will feel like failure, right? It's got to be tough and not let the small stuff get to you. Aren't you meant to be uncommunicative? Ah! <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah! There are 300 girls in my year. I need to do something to make an impression. You'll stand out, Kat. What happened with you and Miles? Oh, uh, you just get to know someone way too well when you're stuck in a van. 
And? And it was incredible. We did little mini day trips to Byron and we swam with dolphins in Hastings. That'd be so spiritually transcendent. Yeah, but we weren't like that. Who is? Well, come on. This is meant to be a reunion. Tara Webster, I don't think we've met. You have every right to be angry with me. I forgot yesterday to say sorry, so sorry. The soloist joined the company in the center. I want to run through the bows. Tara. We don't need you here. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you asked for the soloist. We found a replacement. I'm sorry. I hope you can make this more of a priority. Sorry. Tell me you mind. I'm looking for excuses. Not a chance. Miss Rain would be too disappointed. Principles first. Miller, come down stage. Move forward. You know you gave me no choice. You walked out of rehearsal. You'll have to slide to the court. Peter Fontaine judges are going to be in that audience. This was my chance to make an impression. I can't believe that you would just... Just what? Did you for a better option? Right. I was actually, I was contemplating a head shave because these golden locks never have to be shackled into a bun again. But Brittany ruined that for everyone. Oh. Hot, 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 hot. Pardon me? Cat, got your tongue? Cat, oh. I get it because <laughs> I'm cat and meow. <laughs> Seem to have misplaced some of the first years. Uh, Lulu and Daisy both sick with gastro. Keep up, girls. Keep up. <laughs> Wonderful. The quarter ballet is dropping like flies. <coughs> Ethan, get them up. Those pheromones are toxic. You've been kissing all of us. I thought it was food poisoning, okay, but I didn't know I was contagious. The point is that you've been leading us on, pretending that we're special. No, you are special. No, you're all so <coughs> special. Let me get that for you. Thanks. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I do. You want me to be jealous? Really? It all got so complicated between us at the end. I've been doing some work on myself over the holidays. I, I know it was my fault we ended. Don't blame yourself. I was closed off to love. But today, I released that fear and opened my heart. I'd kiss you if you weren't contagious. <laughs> kiss you anyway. No, Abigail, you didn't do anything wrong. Well, I must have, I always do. The reason that we broke up is because I had feelings for someone else. Then afterwards, we can go stationery shopping. Uh, do you need a pencil case? What, you're giving me the silent treatment? How long is this going to last? School starts on Monday, so not long at all. Actually, I'm cancelling my tour commitments. You're going to go to school as a day girl. So I'll be staying at home with you. If someone has to keep an eye on you. We'll just have to learn to be a normal family. What is that in your... Is that a piercing? It hurts, Mum. How could you just figure yourself like that? And what sort of place would let a 16-year-old girl without permission? I'm calling the family lawyer. So just to clarify, you broke up with me because you got feelings for Christian. 
And now you're hooking up with every girl in the school except for me because you care about me and not them. Right. So essentially I turned you gay. <laughs> and he turned you straight. No, no, it sounds worse than it is. It's... You people with your feelings are messed up. Move! Sarah! Um, how many fretes is it again? You did mind? You should have said. No, I loved it when you stole my solo. When was the last time you danced, Grace? Uh, a year-ish. Right. Well, you should know that Ethan's sending you out there to embarrass yourself so that he can prove a point to me. Ouch. Got it. Don't. I didn't say anything. When she danced in London, it was the Royal Ballet School. I'm glad she's not staying. Does that make me a bad person? Nice is overrated. Grace! You were extraordinary. Please don't quit permanently. I was rusty. <laughs> um, Hey, can you say goodbye to Lucy for me? Sure, where should I see you're going? The airport. Yesterday when I got there, there were no available flights to London. They've got me on business class tonight. You want me to tell Miss Rain that you're flying to London? I guess I'm homesick. I think I've figured out that dream I've been having. Last year, I started out with no friends, no boyfriend, the worst in the class. The only place to go was up. Welcome to second year. You are no longer new and the same allowances will no longer be made. In second year, there are no second chances. Girls, you're staying here with me this morning. Gentlemen, I'm Zach Andrews. You're next door with me. This year I have everything to lose. I can try to hang on, but I don't know what's around the next corner. Come and stand at the front of the bar. They cancelled my credit cards. Dad's always one step ahead. So you're staying? For now. I just have to trust that I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Home. My nanny used to say, and she totally stole it from someone else, that the key to happiness was having something to do. Shh. It's work. Something to love. And something to dream about. 
can you believe that's gonna be us one day? I used to think the moment I got into the National Academy, I would die on the spot with happiness. I didn't. Five seconds later, I just started focusing on the next dream. Getting a contract with the company. I don't know. Maybe I'm destined to always want something just out of reach. Hi guys. Uh, I thought I'd get in early and let you know that whatever the initiation ceremony is, I'm I'm in. <laughs> I'm Kat Kramikov. I'm new, <laughs> obviously. Minus nine minutes, make it to my shift. That's doable. <laughs> Samuel, I do hope those outside work commitments aren't continuing now that term is resumed. No, of course not. Mm. Who's got time with the academy schedule? <laughs> my point exactly. Mr. Reed, I've been thinking we don't spend enough time together. So have I. Your office. Picture a universe full of shiny, happy people. The boredom is palpable. Hi. Um, sorry again that we got off on the wrong foot. I thought maybe I could take you over to the cafe, show you some of the least disgusting menu options. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I would take anyone remotely interesting at this point. Do I know you? I'm Lulu and this is Lily and we've been dying to meet you all week. You're a legend down in first year. The Clara costume sabotage. Emailing Tara's pros and cons list around the entire school. Inspired. Plus, you dumped Sammy Lieberman. That rat infected old first year. So we've decided that you're the only second year with any clue. No more relationships, just ballet. I own the company prize at all times. There's a point, could you make it? We want to watch you and learn. I appreciate your taste, girls. I don't have time for minions. Hey, good move. You train them up and then they get power hungry. It always ends in some sort of coup. Week one results. You're at the bottom of every class. Well, I'm still getting back into it after the break. I want to talk to you about putting hip-hop back on the curriculum. The board made its decision. The academy trains dancers for ballet companies, not music videos. But isn't it important that we learn all different styles? What's important is that these marks improve. As a scholarship student, you're expected to be a role model. I want to see you putting in extra hours in the studio. Cardio in the gym. Try harder. Got it. Mr Kennedy had great faith in you. Don't let him down. <laughs> um, excuse me, are you Saskia Duncan? I hope so. I saw you in the Firebird. You were amazing. Um, I've been carrying the program around. Do you mind? <laughs> and you are Tara, Tara Webster. I don't want to disturb your lunch. No, join me. I miss Academy Gossip. <laughs> so, Tyra Webster, you a good year or a bad year? Um, I think we're kind of a mixed bag. <laughs> and do you have a boyfriend? Yes, yes I do. I remember my Academy boyfriend, Hamish Madsen. He was completely gorgeous. So much trouble though. So what happened? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm asking way too many questions. No, um... The day I got my contract and he didn't was the end of everything. And we tour so much with the company, there's not really enough time to be dating anyone outside. 
So I hope your boy's committed. To me? <laughs> no. To ballet. Oh. <gasps> She's topped everything. Every single class. Who? Grace. Can't pretend that doesn't bother you. Yeah, she's really good. It's, it's unfair of them to let someone transfer into second year and disrupt the whole dynamic. She doesn't want to be disturbed. Abigail, we just wanted to say that you were robbed. Wait. You're looking for leadership? Oh, we found a leader. We'll do anything. So your point shoes, break them in. Grace Whitney. I want to know who she is. Miss Rain's goddaughter, recently transferred from the Royal Ballet School. Excellent extensions. Not her wiki page. I want to know how she thinks. What she wants. Any weaknesses. Know your enemy. And know how to defeat them. Brilliant. It's open. Hi. Grace, isn't it? A cool room. Oh. We're writing an article for the Monthly Academy newsletter. We thought a profile on why you chose to come to the school would be an excellent addition. You're friends of Abigail's, aren't you? Totally. Take a seat. Uh, Marina beat in sound, the drums A single finger in the air amid a thousand thumbs Hitchhiking out of here on the back of a truck My message is a snare drowning out the pound of tongues I'm not asleep, but you've heard before My heart is the beat on the first and fourth Hip hop isn't dead, this is urban law We drag our horse to water and make it thirst for more Turn a trickle to a scream, then a stream to a geyser My dreams are the fire that'll burst the fourth Break dance on the soapbox, the curb is formed Music is our world I'm nice so balls, I'll show me so I can do it better Just in is the amber where these words are formed The fuel and the fire that you burnt is for This song goes out to those who've heard the call If the law serves the rigs, then we'll serve I see you listened carefully to our talk this morning. We said more cardio, right? Clear the walkway, it's a health and safety issue. How? Just clear it, Christian. Well, can we at least use a studio, like, after hours? The studio is to be used for classical training. Yeah, but if we have spare time, why can't we use it working on an increasingly relevant art form? I'm relieved to hear you say you have spare time, Mr Lieberman. You've been notably absent lately. Clear it. I guess we're taking that as a no. So we meet after hours. Right, the studio. Yeah. Tomorrow, 10. If you're there, I'm game. Yeah, spread the word to people, all right? Let the revolution begin. You're here, I like it when you're here. Hi. This is for you. So, how's the friend tally going? You could have warned me about the socks. Socks? Okay, so at normal school, if you wear them a centimetre too short, then you're trashy, but if you wear them too high... Excommunication. Yeah. Sorry, what is this? A pie chart. It tracks all of your out-of-class activities for maximum time management. I have one too. They're colour-coordinated. You pie charted my life for me. Well, if we don't both get into the company, then Saskia says we have no chance of staying together. I'm freaking you out, aren't I? No. It's all part of your charm, right? <laughs> You were right. The carefree attitude is an act. She spends hours in the studio every night. And she says she left the Royal because she wasn't the favourite. Wait, you got this information directly from her? It's actually quite open. And she said to say hi. This information is compromised. When I asked you to dig around Grace's background, I meant without her knowing. Haven't you ever stalked anyone? I want friend requests out to every student at the Royal Ballet School. Use a fake profile. Cover your tracks. I want the dirt on her family. Why'd they leave Australia? Why'd they send her back here? I need to get into the school records. Who knows anything about hacking? My brother's studying IT. Use him. If she's hiding something, we're gonna find it.
Thanks for inviting me. This is so exciting. <laughs> For me to be here. Yeah, I always used to sit in on rehearsals when I was at the academy. It's the best way to learn. Wow. You should come tonight as well. Watch that stage. Really? Could I bring someone? Yeah. Why not? Lexi, girls. Hi. Look, I get it. I haven't done my time, so you're supposed to ignore me until I'm completely humiliated and then one day I'll do something inexplicably cool and you'll accept me into your gang, right? Uh huh, cool. Well, look, we've all seen that movie, so how about I just hang with you guys until you make up your minds? Actually, you go. We've already made up our minds. <laughs> Sorry, is this is fun. Oh no, don't worry. Make the most of it while you can. You will never guess what. Ah, uh, they're putting a ban on public displays of affection. Better. Saskia has arranged for us to watch the company side stage. Oh, you should totally come too. Again, who is Saskia? The youngest principal dancer in the history of the company. When are we going? Tonight. No, oh, no, we can't tonight. Well, we have to. It's the last performance of the season. We've kind of got this hip-hop thing on. I hope you're warm, because we're starting in the centre. What thing? It, it's not on the pie chart. Neither is the ballet. Mr Reed, you know, I hate to feel repetitive. What did I say about focus and discipline? Saskia's going to introduce us to some company people afterwards. She says it's never too early to start networking. It was late notice anyway. No one's gonna come. Yeah, but I cancelled my shift. Two words, dude. Thumb and under. Well, I'm gonna call it compromise and happy girlfriend. doesn't want too much distraction. Didn't you see this already? Two firebirds, one week. That's dedication. Good to know you're keeping tabs on us. <sighs> so Tara's doing a Frankenstein on you, huh? Just wondering if that had happened. Ballet, black tie event. Looks like she's creating the perfect boyfriend. My personality and your... everything else. Working late, Mr. Lieberman. If only your friend showed as much dedication. Okay, the cloud has passed. The cloud. That the rain cloud. It's code, cat. Hey! <laughs> Where'd you all come from? And there's more of us outside too. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, come on. I know what happened in London. You're seriously sitting in the dark? And I'm guessing Miss Rain doesn't know. Otherwise she would never have let you into the academy. Really? You're a safety hazard, Grace. So why don't you go upstairs, flush your creepy little fish, book a taxi and I'll leave your reputation intact. Miss Rain is my godmother and the principal. Of course she knows. So give me the summary. 
I got expelled for giving a girl a nervous breakdown. Tell who you like. I don't need to feel popular. Neither do I. Hence the minions. Look, I'm stuck here. But I don't care about being the best. <laughs> everyone cares about being the best. I'm not everyone. You know, I thought you were interesting. But all this? Not so much. Two seconds. I'm guessing no one showed, right? <laughs> No, the opposite. We need bouncers. Even little first year ballet bots have shown hip hop is sweeping the nation. Yeah, but they need a teacher and someone who actually knows what they're doing. Okay, I'm sure you guys have it sorted. Mate, you were the instigator, so you should be here to see it. Sorry, I have to go. What? Why? You don't need me here. You're not just here for me. Yeah, I am. Now, you've got your whole life mapped out in front of you, and that's great, but don't overreact. But I don't even know if I want to get into the company or not. How can you not? Wait, so you've been lying to me. You don't want to be with me long term. No, no, see, now that is overreacting. Whether or not I want to get into the company or not is two years away. It's something I have to work out. You're just scared to try. Okay, why don't you come with me? Why don't you compromise? Because this is important. Exactly, and I wouldn't ask you to give up something that's important to you. Hey, are you going to teach us something? Um, okay, well... Do you guys want to, like, learn a routine or specific moves? <laughs> you have to find your centre of gravity and then make it your own. Yeah. Oh. Hip hop is not only about tricks, it's about storytelling as well. So we're gonna start like this. Some room, please. Step back. Take some big breaths. Come on. It'll be all right. Cat said you'd be here. Also said you were amazing tonight. I'm sorry I bowed on you tonight. What happened? They took Saskia to hospital. She fell on stage. One minute she was dancing and then the next, her career is probably over. Well, you don't know that. Exactly, I, I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, let alone in two years. I've been a total control freak. I have a habit of throwing good things away. I just don't wanna disappoint you. It's impossible. 
So you're going to show me what you've been working on? What, tondus? <laughs> no, I was kind of more thinking hip-hop. Oh. Well, I don't know if you're up to it. Oh, really? We were up all night. Why are you dressed like me? Oh, we thought it could be our thing. We have no thing. Look, your first years. You're gonna have to find your own way. I can't do it for you. Dreams are complicated. I forget they're only one third of the happiness puzzle. Is it always like this? Some days it's infantile. Sometimes I'm running after my dreams so fast, I miss the detours that lead me to places new and unexpected. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop dreaming. Without them, I'd be lost. Because there's nothing more magical than when you catch one and get to hold it in your hands. For one perfect moment. Ali. Trilby. So far, I've been to 17 ballet schools. That includes four in London, two in Singapore, and an unfortunate month of classical tutoring from a half-deaf sadist in Prague. The one thing I never get used to is being the new kid. That fear of being left out. Gentlemen, we have a new guy. Ben Tickle, first year couldn't contain his mad skills, so he's been bumped up. <laughs> get into pairs, someone bring Ben up to speed. Usually, you've got about three seconds to make a decent first impression. Thanks, Mr. Lieberman. The Liebermeister. My usual tactic is to make a splash. That way, in theory, you get to choose your friends rather than them choosing you. Stop pretending it doesn't hurt. Like it's not easy for you too. Now that I'm at normal school, I don't want to stick out anymore. For once, I want to blend in. You can have her. No. Look at her, she's one of yours. Lexi, Elkie, one warning. Kat, join Elkie's group. Now, this next piece is all kinds of exciting because it requires you to use two art forms, music and movement, to tell a dramatic story. Miss Forsey? Yes, Elkie, you may use the spoken word as well. No, Lexi, it's not a requirement. Let's get started. So, we're all boat people and we're coming to Australia across the sea while Grecky's Symphony of Sorrowful Song plays. How did boat people dance again? Trilby, I am so sick of your negativity. It's called realism, Elk. We have to keep it simple. You can't dance, I can't dance, Marissa and Darcy can't dance. What about you, new girl? Can you dance? I've got it. A piece about humanity's destruction of the environment. We can call it Guy's Vengeance. That sounds like a really good idea. Girls' class is boring without Kat. Do you reckon you could smuggle me in with you? You might need to grow some wispy facial hair first. <laughs> Do the words third and will mean anything to you guys? Seriously, she's your big threat. Don't be fooled by the naive country bumpkin act. Bess parted her partner and the assistant choreographer both succumbed. Basically, she owes her status to Pashrash. You're funny. I've always thought so. What do you bring to the table? You two, be quiet or chop. Do the 
sense up. I got even the odds for you. Really travel this, guys, and explode that front foot into the air, yeah? Show me that photo, man. Okay, here we go. You guys organising that hip-hop night was so cool. But even before the tapping on the shoulder, I knew second year was where I belonged. Shh. I mean, I wouldn't call first years immature. It's just like my mum says. I'm an old soul. Old soul? All right, we're up. Five, six, seven, eight. So, Ben, good stuff in there. Thanks, Rito. Oh, and Ben's pretty boring. Most people call me the Benster. Really? So, did you do martial arts before you danced? No. Why? There was this Asian kid back at dance school in Nui. He started out in Taekwondo. You look a bit like him. Yep, we all look the same. Mate, that's a bit racist. Cucumber on a sandwich, that is so gay. What? I'm just taking them off. That's what I mean, it's gay. Newsflash, I think Abigail's made a friend. Hi. Tara, the band star. Have you always walked funny or did ballet make you that way? What? Ballet girls, they're so sensitive. How do normal people walk? Uh, heel toe. I think you're more toe heel. Great, so I'll just, you know, unlearn that. <laughs> hey, we, we should come up with a name for our gang. The Untouchables. Yeah, that's great. That's, a, that's appropriate. Um, look, can you just excuse me a second? You pushed me off balance like yesterday. I will punch you in the brain. It's good to see you too, Abigail. The fairy godmother has spoken. My child, you shall go to the ball. Good afternoon, students. I've decided to make some changes. You're swapping partners. Lovely, Abigail. Stay with me, muscles. Come on. Ow! Oh, is that really necessary, Ben? Come to sweat less. Better lay the lamingtons. Thank you. You owe me. Celebration in my room, seven o'clock. So how's school, kitten? Is any fun activities? Well, like finger painting? Uh, best part was probably drama. We're doing a music and movement piece. Oh, is that like dance? No, in fact, it's almost entirely unlike dance. Classic, isn't it? I'll get more carrot sticks. And golden steps three? If it's as good as one and two, then I am there. I'm actually pretty tired. Hey, I wasn't criticizing. Let's bring this trilogy home. I forgot we have character at eight. Okay. Well, thanks for the celebration. I had fun. I'm glad. Kat, you know right, you don't love me no more. Hey, leave him my stuff. Hey, give me your arm. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, that is your invitation to my welcome to second year party. Observatory Hill straight after class. I'm inviting all the second years, but I'm making you the co-host. Okay, thanks. Rito, let's go. So hold on, you're throwing yourself a welcome party. I'm kind of an alpha male. So my stupid stamps run out of ink. That is gay. I'll see you guys there. Wouldn't miss it. No stamp, drats. Guess I can't go. No, you guys have to come. No, I don't think so. Well, you just said you would. Okay, a new kid's not just for Christmas. Where did that come from? Seven, eight. We are glaciers, shedding ice as we recede. Check out your dandruff, girls. 
Look, we only have to be better than Lexi and her plastics, and they're doing nothing. Guys, vengeance is about making a difference. Jerry, over here. Who is that? That's Jerry Sherb. She's a commercial choreographer. She's pretty good, actually. What? You know her name and you know her specialty. How come? What do you mean, no? Dance for us, monkey. Well, I would, but I've sort of retired. Look, we thought you were like Lexi, only more boring, but... But you could help us beat her. You don't know that. She said she got kicked out. I did. I did, which is why I don't dance anymore and I definitely don't choreograph. But... In terms of help, I guess I do have some connections. Ow! Oh, yeah, no ink. Hey, starts really soon, so don't worry about getting dressed up. Hey, did I tell you I'm claustrophobic? No, you didn't. Didn't think so. See, the problem wasn't with Golden Steps 3. It's just medically dangerous for me to stay in. How sad for you. OK, assuming you're not going to the new guy's party, how about I show you my version of fun? Yoo-hoo! A Karanikov! See, you leave me one voicemail and pow, I materialise. Now put your ballet slippers back on, I have a job for you. World of ballet, kindly collide with the real world. Hi. Um, we're here for a dance lesson. Oh, I have this thing I'm supposed to go to. Wait, no, no, I forbid you. The Benster invited all the second years. I'm pretty sure you're off the hook. You're off the hook. There's only one rule. We get everything for free. Help! Someone help! My friend's collapsing! What are you doing? My friend is collapsing? Go with me! Please, anyone! This is an emergency! She okay? My friend Hermione gets super low blood sugar. Don't try to be brave, Hermione, honey. This man is going to help us. Ooh, what does she need? Oh, I'll call an ambulance. There's no time. If she doesn't get something sweet immediately, she'll go into shock. OK, stay right here. Oh, I'll be back. Organic chocolate only. Faster! I could kill you. Sweating forehead, wide eyes, racing pulse. Abby, I think you just had fun. That was the least amount of fun I've ever had in my entire life. So what's next? Try it. It's easy. Yeah, too so. easy. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's all about coordinating both movements, so. Quick. Maybe, maybe we can do the breaking ice like this. Oh, wow. Cool motif. I like it. Um, and then we can go for melting. Down like this. Yeah. <laughs> and then turn. <laughs> Whoa. We should do this more often. Hi. Excuse me, um, is Anushka in? I don't know, sorry, it's my second day. Really? Um, it's kind of awkward. My cousin Vanessa's visiting from LA. She's got this premiere thingy tonight, and um, Anushka promised to dress. That's not. Babe, I'm gonna have to call you back. Your cousin's not Vanessa Hutchins, is it? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm such a big fan. Go Wildcats! Yeah, well, today she's just a girl looking for a dress. <laughs> right, Nessie? Hi. OK, no worries, that's fine. Um, all right, let's see what we have here for you. Uh, uh, them a crowd for the rhythm one time. We a rock the mic right then tense the flow. No negative action. Positive motions, do we go now? Keep it all on track, no matter it's a journey. Don't shut me down now. Oh, I like to know it. You got the mad skills. Oh, I like to know it. You rock the mad thrills. <laughs> we need a taxi. Uh, uh, against the rules, remember? Everything has to be free. Abby, 
what are you doing? Hello. Uh, my name is Helga. This is my friend Pia. We are from Sweden, uh, but we are so lost. So Kat has new friends. Does that feel weird to you? You miss her a lot, don't you? Yeah. We all do. Look, do you ever worry that Kat was kind of the main thing that we had in common? Okay, it might not sound very ballet of me, but... You know, when it comes to friends, I don't play favourites. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> ciao, ciao. <laughs> <laughs> but we're finally getting a little bit of rhythm. They're actually moving to the music instead of miming to Elkie's poetry. Hmm, that sounds nice. Nice. Typical. If my thing was a performance at the National Academy, you'd be all over it. You'd turn up with photographers to record yourself watching me dance. Come on, Kat, you're being unreasonable. We can't second guess everything that's important to you. She's not asking you to guess, Dad. She's asking you to show an interest. Thank you. Mm. Except if I show an interest, I'm being patronizing. And if I'm not all over you, I'm the worst mother in the world. Well, why do you have to be the worst or the best? I just want you to be normal. I am being normal. We're sitting here having a family activity. This is my best attempt at being normal. Are they both using their plie? Good question. Good. Now, everyone. Good luck with the mess. <laughs> um, Miss Rain, may I be excused? Samuel, where do you think you're going? Ben. Ben, stop. Hey, can you stop? No. I'm sorry I didn't come to your thing, okay? Something just came up. Well, if you weren't going, you should have RSVP'd no. Not yes, no. You're right, my bad. I tried so hard to be friends with you guys. Yeah, that's the thing, you've just been pretty full on. That's who I am. That's the Ben star. You want me to tone it down just so I fit in? That's totally gay. See, right there, gay, doesn't actually mean lame. You don't know what people are going through. Right now, someone could be trying to work all that stuff out. Like, figure out who they are, and you're turning it into this negative. It's not cool. Oh, right. Um, I'm such an idiot. Miles Kelly? How low can you go? Be surprised. Thank you, girls. I'm sure there was a story in there somewhere. Uh, Elkie's group, you're up next. Darling, am I on time? Tell me that's not your mother. Worse, it's her android replacement programmed to humiliate. Got a bit held up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. Kill me now. My husband's rehearsing, sends apologies. Oh, it's great they've involved parents. Um, they don't normally come to assessment, so... Seventeen degrees. Seventeen point five. Seventeen point seven. Eighteen point two. 18, 18.6, 19 degrees. Heat, rising, danger, rising. Bureaucratic apathy, rising. Crack, crack, splash. The ice shelf of the Arctic, icebergs breaking free. Drifting, drifting away, melting as they go. The polar bears roar their farewell to humanity.
fantastic. That is possibly the finest music and movement piece I've ever had in any of my classes. Oh. Well, you did a great job with the choreography. Mum, don't. What? It was surprisingly good. Yeah, for an amateur performance by first-time dancers in a school exercise. Well, there are some excellent dance classes in the city. Mum, again, don't. Katrina, I'm just trying to work out what you want. Please, believe me. I know. Last year, it was like I broke up with Ballet. Or maybe Ballet broke up with me. I didn't think it would hurt so much, but it did. I didn't know that. Well, it was my fault. And I don't want to get back together. But I think I need to miss it for a little while. If it helps, I miss it too. So, round two? No. I'm taking the dress back. And recommending they hire a smarter sales assistant. I don't be mistaken for a thief or some B-list celebrity. We still have fun, right? Yeah. You coming? So we're good, right? Yeah. It's just... You and Tara being so full on. A little weird adjusting to. Okay. It's gross, obviously, but yeah, it's. It's great. Honestly, I. I haven't really known how to play it. You said things were cool between us. Yeah, it is. I don't feel the same way I did last year, that's gone. But it did mean something, I guess. At some stage, I have to figure out what. You know? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Boys! Hey, look, um, I made you rainbow cupcakes. When I said that's so gay, I didn't mean to offend you. Um, okay. Uh, wait, that's a bad turn of phrase. Um, look, it. It's totally cool that you guys are... Yeah. <sighs> ben! <laughs> Mate, the cupcakes are good. The toughest thing about being kicked out of the academy wasn't that I didn't fit in. Oh. Excuse us. Sorry, partner. It was how much I did fit with the people there. My friends. Hello. Yeah. I don't know how things are going to work out with school number 18. Hey, are you the one that got rejected last year? I don't think I've found my place yet. The very same. You are uh, Ben? Uh, call me Ben Star. No one gets to pick their own nickname, Ben. <laughs> She's awesome. Hey, she should be part of our gang. <laughs> Can I be a part of your gang? <laughs> but I know who I fit with. And maybe that's enough for now. Ah. Give me ah. Ah.